Well, a shakeup with Honolulu City Council members has Ernie Martin back at the helm. He became chair earlier this week. It's a position he held before. So what does this mean for you? Joining us now to answer that and much more, Honolulu City Council Chair Ernie Martin. Good morning. Welcome, Chair. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Well, thanks for having me. So first of all, one of the biggest questions is why did this happen? You know, I think uh, basically a, a change, I think, uh, was necessary. I think the majority of the members felt that uh, the prior leadership perhaps wasn't as diligent uh, in its interactions with the administration. You know, I think there, there were a lot of instances where the council leadership had been leaning more in favor of the administration as opposed to fulfilling its responsibility as part of the legislative branch, uh, and a change was necessary. And speaking of the current administration and votes, Hon the, the rail project, was that a big factor in changing the leadership? I think there was one of the factors, not the only factor. I think uh, a number of members felt that uh, the leadership itself wasn't supportive of a number of the, our colleagues at the city council. I think there have been instances where the council has passed legislation that was vetoed by the mayor that the leadership did not offer uh, to the rest of the membership to override uh, matters that pass with a clear majority that normally uh, the council would consider uh, to override given that uh, the majority of the membership supported a, a sensitive issue. But of course rail, rail is, will always be an issue I think uh, until it's completed, uh, when it's completed. So of course it, you know, it, it was one of the issues that uh, factored into the decision. So the project could be affected? No. I nope. mean, uh, How about if the anything, money, though? Where the money's coming from? That, that'll be, that'll be, the, that's the controversy. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of the, the membership working together with HART, you know, the authority that's responsible for the project, the administration and the FTA to come up with a sensible plan in terms of financing the project uh, to completion. I think that's the controversy. I think what the mayor has proposed had made the members very uncomfortable. Uh, it's a, a, a unique use. Uh, of, of city bond funds. It's borrowed money. It's not uh, what we call cash, uh, which per uh, places a further financial obligation, not just on the city, but taxpayers in general. Any other issues coming up? Any other factors aside from rail? Uh, well, I think issues that will, will, will be uh, highlighted, I think, uh, going forward will be, of course, homelessness. It continues to be a challenge for Honolulu. I think we closely mirror what the legislature is moving forward in terms of some of its initiatives. I think uh, when I was uh, the previous chair, we made an effort to place a high priority uh, and have in invested a significant amount of money on that particular issue. But of course, uh, again, it's still th there's a lot more that needs to be done, and uh, you'll see the members working hard at that. And just one quick question. The ultimate question, of course, is for the people watching at home. They're the taxpayers, Oahu residents. Tell them, why is this so important, a change in leadership? I think it's important for... Uh, the general taxpayers because I think on the on the this particular leadership you'll see us holding the mayor's feet to the fire I think uh, in the past the big criticism I think amongst the general public is that he was getting a free pass that the council made it too easy and wasn't asking the difficult questions for example there's a 214 million dollar gap in the financial plan for rail we allow that plan to go forward to the FTA knowing that it wasn't sufficiently addressed, but yet the council moved forward and approved it, primarily upon recommendation from the administration. So that, that type of action will definitely come to a halt. And of course, it is taxpayers' money. It is your money. Exactly. And leadership lawmakers decide, help decide how it's spent. So of course, it is important. It's important. I mean, you know, we take it very seriously. I mean, we taxpayers ourselves. We want to ensure that uh, our dollars are being spent wisely and in the right places. So it's a very important responsibility. It, it is. And thank you so much for joining us oh, and sharing you your time me. with us. Chair Martin, nice to see you again. Yeah, you too.